Give me drama. Give me real life situations from Mario. We're getting to that point where we just can't have a fun fantasy adventure anymore. Excuse me, Mario. Bowser has kidnapped. Hey, that's nice. Bowser has kidnapped this girlfriend of yours, tried to kill you on many occasions. You've called him Gay Bowser. And what do you do? You invite him go-karting. You invite him to go play tennis with you. Why do you do these things, Mario? Why are you psychotic? Yeah, why? I have to ask. Oh, this, this is weird. But you know what? I just gotta say this. Getting a little bit off topic, wink wink, from uh, this Mario thing. I would rather, I would rather be stuck on a segment of I Wanna Be The Boshi for hours than do a puzzle game that I'm terrible at. I will sympathize with the people who have difficulties with uh, iPhone games because some, I'll admit, some iPhone games, I haven't played a lot, but some that I've played at a, on a friend's phone, very difficult. I just have, I have such problems with puzzle games. And one, one video game series that I've really been, mean, been meaning to get into is Professor Layton. Which I think I've talked about before, but... Brain puzzlers are just something that I really... I think it will help me in my commentary. I think it will just help me be a smarter person in general. If not... Well, maybe not smarter. But it'll definitely open up those brainwave connections, you know? Let's see, let's, let's, let's talk about something that's going on in my life, aside from this game. Wait a minute, am I supposed to be here? I am not supposed to be here right now, grr. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, alright. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh my goodness, I have to do that until I get to the save point, don't I? Okay. Oh my goodness, my nose is scratching, but I have my phone right here on my lap, so if anybody gives me a comment, I will be able to read it post-haste. Um, ooh! Ooh! I'm sorry, I thought of another great boss! A boss that I love, a boss that was like almost pure attitude, that I loved! And it's a boss that I've recorded on this uh, on this channel, and that is the final boss of Deus Ex. That boss. Oh, what was his name? Oh my God, I need to play that game again for myself. I I've got to go back and play it. That fall is so weird. I gotta I gotta get. I gotta get going on a lot of games. I am very sorry that I've been slow, been slow going. There we go. That's nice. Having that save there is very nice. Um, you know, maybe I should have saved this whole boss conversation until I got to the final boss of this game. Then we could have talked about final bosses. I feel like I've kind of played my trump card too early, you know? But that's okay, we can we can still talk about final bosses when we get there. I just want to talk about it right now. Oh, hey! That was really weird. I thought I was like, I don't know what I thought. Yeah, I need a drink of water. I wish I could be a final boss. I wish I could just be that big last obstacle between the hero and his goal. That'd be great. And yes, by the way, I am going to be using Simon for this whole thing because Simon is our little desert traveler buddy. Maybe I'll switch over to the Black Mage. Maybe I'll switch... You know what? Yeah. I like how I'm... I said we'd be using Simon, and now I'm like, eh, Black Mage. Oh, right! You see, if I hadn't switched over to the Black Mage, I wouldn't have been able to do this. You see, as soon as I switch over to the Black Mage... Yay! Go! Go, Black Mage! I love this little guy so much. 
You know, I think if this guy was a final boss, the Black Mage, I wouldn't kill him. I, I just wouldn't have the heart. Ooh, I thought of another good final boss. The final boss in uh, Dead Space. That's another game I've recorded. Yeah. The final boss in Dead Space, man. So satisfying. That's actually a boss that I feel so bad for killing. Because that boss did me a... That, that boss did me a favor. Got rid of one of the most annoying, horrible people I have ever encountered in a video game. Rest in pieces, Kendra. I hate Kendra to this day. God. I, I just hate people that dump on you constantly. Ugh. Even I, even I will give Solgren, not, not Solgren the man, because I have no problems with Solgren the man. I have a problem with Solgren the oatmeal box. When I, when I address Solgren, when I'm like, Solgren, I want you to go die, I hate you, I never want to talk to you again. I'm not talking about the man. I really enjoy, I genuinely enjoy Solgren. He is a good man. I will say that until I die. He is a good, nice guy. He has never proven himself to be personally, personably default. A genuinely nice person. Solgren the oatmeal, though. No. No. Let's not talk about that. Hmm. Might need to spam a little bit. Oh, come on, Black Mage. I'm sorry that I've condemned you. You know, you know is another really good boss? Um, now I'm just listing off bosses. I'm not even really doing commentary. Come on. I was gonna say the, uh... Now, you know what? No, I'm not gonna say it. You will forever... You'll forever feel the sting of what I was gonna say. What was I going to say? The world might never know. Fine, I'll tell you. It was gonna be, uh, the Koopa Troop guys from, uh, you know, the Power Rangers from, uh, the original Paper Mario. What are those guys' names? The Koopa team that had, like, the Power Ranger motif going, where they, like, even got into a big Bowser Mechazord thing. Oh, I don't remember their names. I'm sorry, but that, that was a fun boss. That was really good. Oh, come on. I can't even, like, barely see the bullets. I think this was my problem last time, too. I'm still really glad that I got past missing, though. That's great. Pure quality. Hmm. Hold on. Let me spam a little bit. There it is, as soon as I spam a little bit. Oh, this world is pretty much done with... Thank you for giving me that... Thank you for giving me that wimpy save right there. Oh, come now. Is this because I'm not doing it with Simon? Fine, jeez, here's Simon. I know you really like him. Go ahead, I don't care. Ah! By the way, almost 5,000 deaths. There it is. Yeah. Hmm, hold on, this is a weird... This is like one of the only save jumping segments in the game. Oh, come on, I need to get past this. I'm not going to be using an adjusted character. I'm going to be using Simon. Now, wait a minute. How... Hmm, this is going to be tricky. I'm trying not to die. I'm trying to get to the... I'm trying to get to the end of this world without hitting 5,000 deaths. Hold on. This is gonna prove a little bit annoying. 
Oh, forget it. No, that's what I get. 5,001. Punished. Oh, so punished. And there we go, everybody. I got to the... What is the death counter doing? Look at the death counter. It's freaking out. Here, we'll go with... Uh... Oh, wow. Yeah. Dig Dug. Oh, God. Oh, what is going on with that death counter? That's great. So I got to, I got to this final little climb in 5,000 deaths. Well, on my 5,000th death, really. That's great. I'm, I'm darn proud of myself. Way to go, Gunslinger. Way to go, Dig Dug. Oh my gosh, that poor death counter. I might as well, I might just turn it off if it's going to be freaking out that bad. Look at that. Oh, even Dig Dug's freaking out. Look at him. Okay, wow. Let's go with the guy. Well, the kid. Okay, fine, we'll go with the guy now that I said it. Where is he? I think he's under T for the, the guy. Yeah. The only character that I can do this with. How could I forget about the guy? The guy is such a good boss fight. All the all the boss fights in the original uh, I Want to Be the Guy are so good. They're just classics. We salute you, the guy. Keep on bringing in those capes. Keep on smoking that cigarette. Look at him, he's dancing to it. He knows. I like how the first time, the first time I get through this first spike weave thing, it's with the guy. Oh, if I could, if I could, if I could... If I could get to this next save with the guy, I would die a happy man. It's gotta be done. I'm sorry, it's gotta be done. It has to be. I can see where the hitbox is. Come on, come on, come on. I love how it plays the music. Somebody kind of obviously ripped that sound clip straight from the boss fight, so there's still some of the boss fight music in that clip from when he fires. That's great. Oh, come on! I'm making this a lot more difficult on myself than it needs to be. What's new? Oh, come on, we're so close. I want to get to that save. You gotta, like, jump out of the platform because it tries gripping onto you. By the way, I think uh, I think my friend Megzi was asking me in one of the previous comp uh, videos what I thought about quick time event bosses, and I'm pretty sure that I went over it. I think she just hasn't seen the episode where I talked about it, um, but I'll just say that they're so they're the worst. They're I hate quick time event bosses. Don't do them. Stop. No. You're killing me. I almost had it. Oh, but I can do it, though. This is for the guy. This is for the ages. This has to be done. If nobody else is gonna do it, it has to be me. We're so close to the end. I might even... You know what? Forget it. I don't have to do anything tomorrow. I'm gonna be here. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna beat Sogren tonight. Tonight, this is it. The end of I Wanna Be The Bashi. I can go as long as I want. I can do whatever I want. I'm golden. I'm gonna beat you by my 21st birthday, Sogren.
Again, referring to the oatmeal box, no problems with the actual man himself. From now on, if I ever need to address Salgren the man, the man Salgren himself, I will refer to him as Mini Salgren. Because I'm sorry, Salgren, I dare to say that you have been eclipsed. You have been just. Oh my god! At least in this game, you have so been eclipsed by your own creation here. It's kind of like Frankenstein and Dr. Frankenstein, you know? Everybody says, oh, what are you dressing up as? Oh, I'm dressing up as Frankenstein. Oh, do you mean Frankenstein the doctor, or do you mean Frankenstein the monster? Uh, I'm dressing up as Frankenstein. So are you going to get a lab coat, or are you going to get, like, bolts on your head? Uh, you know, I'm just dressing up as Frankenstein. I kill you now. Are you dressing up as the classic literature Dr. Frankenstein, who is actually a very sympathetic character who created something that he really shouldn't have and knew that he shouldn't have? Or are you the unsympathetic, mad doctor, Frankenstein? Uh, I'm dressing up as Frankenstein. I kill you, reanimate you, and kill you again. Come, come now, guy. I find it... I find it interesting. I, I, don't, I don't think I've ever, person to person, met somebody named Guy. I know people, like, I know celebrities and stuff that are named Guy. It's not a very common name, but I would love to sit down with the parents of somebody who named their child Guy. And I just like to say, why? There's a lot of other names. I just, I, I'm not giving a judgment. I just want to know why. Why would you name your kid Guy? You know what there needs to be right now? Like, right now, in the world, right now, it needs to happen, right this instant, a woman, a woman, any of, just any, any, any old woman, who's on her own, a strong, independent woman, needs to name her daughter, her newborn daughter, Guy. Do it for me, and I will adopt that child, and I will say to people who look at me and go, why did you do that? I will say, because I wanted the guy. I wanted to be the guy, and I couldn't. So instead, I did the next best thing. Next best thing. I adopted the guy. You think you know the guy. I was born in the guy. I didn't come out. I didn't know what Salgren was until I was a man. You think you know about my guy? You don't know. My guy is the guy who will save us all from Salgren. In the year 2000, in the year 5000, that's it, in the year 5108, a clone of my daughter, my adoptive daughter named Guy, will be resurrected. She will be reborn into a world that Salgren himself, the big Salgren, not mini Salgren, mini Salgren has been has been made into a statue. And I'm not talking about like they molded him into a statue. I'm talking about they dug up his bones and made him into a statue to be feared and respected in awe. But in the year 5117, my adoptive daughter, Guy, for the 18 billionth time was cloned again to take on the tyranny of Salgren and free the world because she is the only, the only female who was ever named Guy and she is the only one with the skill, the wit, and the determination to fulfill her title of Guy. And it is because of this that in the end, Salgren will never win. Salgren will fall to my adoptive daughter. And only then, when she has rid the world of Salgren, will she be able to take her voluptuous title of Madam Double Jump. Then, my bones will quake in the earth and know that the prophecy has been fulfilled and that the legend will never die. What am I talking about? <laughs>